from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Conry Report. Despite an economic downturn, international beer brewer Heineken South Africa will be expanding its Zeddy Bank Brewery's production from 5.3 million hectolitres to 7.5 million hectolitres a year by 2020. Simone Lietke visited the facility ahead of International Beer Day earlier this month. By 2020, production at the facility will have increased to 8 million hectolitres a year, with the total investment value of its expansion estimated at 65 million euros. While hosting media for a tour of the facility, Heineken South Africa MD Gerrit van Lu tells Engineering News Online a bit about the company's future plans and how City Bank plays a role in these. Now to start, for example, uh, number one, always uh, safety. Uh, safety first, safety always, uh, we say. So that is, uh, of course, we play an as important role as everybody else um, in the Heineken world. Um, especially high on our agenda is local sourcing. Uh, we can grow barley in this country, so we should aim for local production. Uh, local production of barley, uh, also looking at a moultrie. Uh, the, the third part is uh, trying to get apple juice for our cider locally. Uh, we are currently at 65% local sourcing, but we want to go to 100%. And so those are primarily the, the main elements of the... And then, of course, we're part of the international steering committees of uh, reducing water in the brewery and reducing uh, 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 CO2 em emissions. Much like the rest of the country, the City Bank facility has been battling with electricity supply constraints. Van Lu says dealing with this has actually been a cheaper option compared with costs associated with running City Bing on generators. As a result, renewable energy generation options are currently being considered. Uh, twofold. First of all, uh, tariffs are increasing. Um, that's, of course, uh, that goes into the cost of your brewery. So, I mean, that's what it is. Uh, uh, more important is actually load shedding. Uh, load shedding is very costly because then we start to run on uh, diesel generators uh, and we actually have recently bought general diesel generators to the extent that we can fully run this brewery on diesel generators but that's actually way more expensive than the tariffs we got from ESCOM. So we prefer uh, ESCOM over our own generators because uh, that's cheaper. Longer term uh, we have to look at renewables and uh, we're looking into be buying uh, or building a solar farm in South Africa. With water use also being a focus area for the brewery, Heineken is, as part of its 2030 ambition, aiming to decrease its use to 2.8 litres for every litre of beer produced. The facility currently uses between 3.5 litres and 3.6 litres of water for every litre of beer produced. Van Lu tells us a little more about this part of the company's Brewing a Better World Global Sustainability Strategy. So this is indeed also City Bank area, the midfall is a water scarce area for the moment. That might get a solution when they build the dams that they are planning to, but that can take up to 2025. Uh, so first of all, it's reducing uh, water uh, by all kinds of programs, having much more knowledge in, with the people on water usage and how we can reduce. Uh, it's also about water reclamation, so how can we reuse uh, water? Uh, and we have been, uh, I think we were at about 5 hectolitre per litre per hectolitre a couple of years ago. We are now at 3.5, we want to aim at 2.8. Uh, but yes, it is, um, uh, it is, uh, we have to be responsible in water consumption. Further, as part of its global sustainability strategy, Heineken is aiming to have production of all its South African brands completely locally produced by 2022. Van Lu also gives us some more details on the Brewing a Better World strategy. It is a, a program that runs uh, worldwide, on which Heineken also made several commitments. Uh, first of all, um, advocating for uh, responsible alcohol consumption. Uh, primarily drink driving, but also things like binge drinking and underage drinking and the, uh, uh, pregnant drinking, which is also not a good idea. Uh, so that's the alcohol, uh, the, harm, the harmful alcohol part. Then it is about uh, water usage and uh, declining, trying to decline water usage in different breweries, especially when they are in a water scarce area. It's about drop the sea, how can we reduce the CO2 uh, at, uh, emissions of uh, the breweries worldwide. Uh, it's about growing with the communities around us um, uh, and having programs uh, with, uh, with, uh, uh, with the communities around us. 
Then it's about promoting health and safety within the breweries, making sure that people behave in the right way, that they adhere to the life uh, uh, saving rules. And the last uh, pillar of that program is about um, uh, locally sourcing of our raw materials in the countries where we operate. That's Krima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.